Hello. We're going to uh, identify some linear functions by its graph in this presentation. It should take about, you know, four or five minutes. Pretty easy topic here. Uh, just to begin, let's just think about, well, first of all, what's a function, right? Function means for each input, for each input there is one output, right? One output. So in other words, for each x there is only one y, right? And so you know your functions, your and your functions, your x, your domain, y is your range, and it also passes the vertical line test, right? Vertical line test just means that if a vertical line crosses your graph just once, it's a function. So this would be a function, wouldn't it? Because that's my vertical line. That's the graph. So, but what we're going to look at is special kind of functions called linear functions. Well, think about the root word linear. Line, right? Linear functions. So basically what we're looking for are functions. We're looking for functions that are straight lines. So, you know, from studying the vertical line test, there's your x, that's x, that's y, right? Yeah, you can have something like this, passes the vertical line test, vertical line test, right? Passes. So it's a function, but we also know there's it's y, x, something that, a line that looks like this, vertical line test, right? This is a function too. Notice this is a straight, straight line. This is a straight line, it is a linear function. So let's look at some more examples. Here, got four graphs, right? Which of these four graphs is a linear function? Well, first of all, let's find out which ones are functions. Well, I drew my vertical line. These fail the vertical line test because it intersects more than once. So these are, so graph one and three are not functions. So we're not even going to look at those anymore. Now, that passes and that passes, but only one of these is a vertical line is it, or a linear function, right? Is it graph two? Where's the graph four? Well, is two, is this, just ask you this, this question, is this a straight line? No. So therefore, it is not a linear function. That is a function, it's not linear. So this is a linear function. Here we got a vertical line and vertical lines fail the vertical line test. So, so this isn't a function and this f fails the vertical line test because if you put this vertical, you know, that's our vertical line test, right? If you put this over your graph, well, it touches, you know, here, 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 here. It touches at every point, so it touches more than one, so it fails the vertical line test. So it's not a function. You know, people will miss this because they see a straight line. They go, hey, it's a vertical function. It's not. Let's look at a couple more examples. Well, that's a function. Is this a straight line? No. Therefore, not linear. So it's just not linear. What about this? Is this a straight line? No, it's not. I mean, it's a function, right? And this is a, an absolute value function. But notice it goes from here, and it, you know, if you could get rid of this part over here, then that would be a vertical function. You know, if you get rid of this part over here, that would be a straight line. But a straight line is a straight line. This is no longer when you turn. 
make any kind of turn, even if it's, you know, not, you know, any turns don't going to, your, your line's not going to be straight anymore is what I'm saying. So this is a function, but not, but not linear. So let's keep going. Here, you got functions, right? Because they pass your vertical line test. So, yes, linear function. In your function, these are linear. And you could get something like this. Um, yeah, I mean, like A by itself is a function, right? B by itself would be a function. Actually, I drew C, but B by itself by itself these are all functions just not linear so just remember you know identifying linear functions by its graph is just going to be a straight line each domain value is going to be paired exactly with one range you know so for each x there's only one y and vertical lines aren't functions, they're uh, just kind of distractors. So, uh, just one last thing, if, if you're, you know, these, these uh, linear functions, they have what we call a constant rate of change, and when we work with tables in, in a little while, we're going to be looking for tables that have a constant rate of change. And it's that constant rate of change that makes these graphs linier. So, if you have questions, ask me in class.